welcome. In this video, learn about the mosaic mesh method. I've done many projects, large and small, using this technique. Some folks consider this an indirect method because we build the mosaic flat on a workbench and install it elsewhere. It really doesn't matter what you call it. The mesh method is a helpful fabrication technique. There are several scenarios why this method is so helpful. Let's take a look together. Number one, if the artwork is difficult or impossible to do on site because of size, location, or logistics, this is a tried and true method. For the Pulaski polka dot project, artists from around the world sent polka dots fabricated on mesh to the Wits End headquarters in Pulaski, Wisconsin. Any material that could withstand the climate was acceptable. The polka dots were installed by volunteers and the background applied directly and then grouted. Really a fun project and undoubtedly the talk of the town. Number two, it is helpful seeing the tessera in their true colors and shapes. This column was made during one of my installation workshops. Controlling the color gradations was easily managed because we could see all of the tone nuances. As I mentioned earlier, the mesh method is especially helpful for large projects. Once the mosaic is adhered to the mesh, it can be cut apart and taken to the job site in sections, make lots of registration marks, and cut apart with a utility knife. Number three. Overall installation is simplified using this method. This project was created during COVID. Along with a student 3,000 miles apart via Zoom, we made the seven yoga chakras using different glass materials, all on mesh. I made two chakras, Linda made the others. We spent five days together actually adhering the chakras to the pillar, doing the background, and grouting. Columns are tricky because you are making a curve. We could easily check our tessera were going to be smooth and grout lines even. This was a terrific project and experience. Number four, it's easy to accommodate materials of different thicknesses. This polka dot is smalty, unglazed porcelain, and other tiny glass tiles. The different heights do not matter. Number five, it's easy to make design changes. The original design for this table was four fish, one on each side. The table arrived from the metal worker and the measurement was wrong. My solution, cut two of the fish and make them appear to be swimming. Fortunately, I had built the fish on mesh. The mesh method is pretty simple. This diagram shows exactly the setup regardless of the project size. First, we're gonna tape our numbers down. Then we're gonna take a piece of saran wrap or any clear plastic you have around. And then our last thing is to put some mesh over the top. So now you can see, I can see through to my design, work over the top of it and Hopefully, by the time I have these numbers done, I'll have decided what I want to do in the background. I wanted to talk about the mesh a little bit because this is special mesh made for working with cement-based product. You can't just go to the fabric store and buy some mesh fabric. You need this mesh. It's called AR mesh, which means alkyd resistant, so the cement won't eat it. I prefer to use the same adhesive I will be using for the final seating of my mosaic when adhering individual tessera to the mesh. Thin set for thin set is best. And for exterior works, we have to use thin set for the final installation. To adhere to the mesh, you can also use Wellbond or another PVA glue. But caution, do not create a barrier by using too much glue. You only need a drop, just enough to hold the tessera in place. When installing, the adhesive should ooze up in between the tessera 
enough to grab the sides. If you use too much PVA glue, there may not be space for the new adhesive to fully grab the individual tessera. For small works, I apply the adhesive to the back of the mosaic. Once the piece is seated in place, I wait about 20 minutes and then clean up any areas that have too much adhesive. I want to have room for my grout. For larger installations like my Mexico column, the adhesive was troweled onto the final surface and larger sections applied and puzzled together. Remember, the mesh is not any mesh. You must use alkali resistant mesh. Hopefully this video proves to be helpful. And remember, life's a mosaic, you pick the pieces.